Hey, hey, we're done. Yeah. So, what did I think of the game? It's probably easier to talk about what I liked, because there's a long list of things I didn't like. Uh, first of all, the um, cinematics, the production value, absolutely excellent, as usual, in cinematics. Um, I don't know where the hell they get the talent for the people who make those cutscenes, but they're very good. Very, very, very good. It's, it's just on the level of, like, ridiculously fantastic. Uh, as for the game, the game sucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I hate it. It It's the worst. I didn't realize... Like, I, I kind of knew how bad it was after my first blind run, which I did on the stream. But I still want to do a brutal campaign run, mostly because... Um, brutal was very difficult. Well, not very difficult, but it was difficult enough in Wings of Liberty. And some of the missions in particular, I thought people would benefit from. This is a walk in the park. I had I had no difficulty with this. I kind of just I play I did still played every mission beforehand, so I would be able to give the best advice kind of a thing, and be prepared and you know make some quality kind of entertainment, hopefully. But uh, yeah, it just it was just too damn easy. I'm going to speed this up just by one notch. Um, the game's just way too easy, and it, oh my god, there's there's not enough missions. It's short too. Um, this, uh, here's the thing, uh, with Wings it was 27, 20, 27 maps in total, uh, with like, I think there was like two branching paths, okay? This one did not have branching paths. This has 27 missions too, but uh, seven of them are, are those evolution missions. Yes, they count. They actually, they counted it towards the 27, which are, they're nothing. They're not even, they're not, they don't, they, they don't mean anything. They're just like, they're testing there and it's practically, they, they throw it at you and let you win. Um, and I think at about another seven or eight were basically these missions where you were taking uh, like one uh, one character or like there weren't even, there weren't really RTS things. They were either boss fights or bring the Hyperion through an asteroid field or some other shit like that. And so if you actually count the number of actual concrete RTS missions, it's like nine or ten or something like that. Uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know. My, my math is probably bad, but. It's, let's just say half of the game is not actually real RTS. And it's, it's, that's absolutely pathetic to me. Um, cause they, you know, I didn't like the, the story from the first one, uh, like from, from Wings, but I liked the gameplay of it. It was, the, the missions were, despite being gimmicky, uh, they were fun. Some of them were fun. You know, giant mining laser and all that. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of other favorite ones I have there. And so I was hoping it would be more of the same, something similar to that. I and mean, I was looking forward to that. Nope. It was just like, you know, you can spam anything you want. You can win on any difficulty. It doesn't matter. You can just A move and that's it. The things like me uh, specifically targeting things with Kerrigan uh, just made it even easier. You don't have to do that. You can do whatever. The entire thing was just a total pushover. And I was so disappointed by that. Um, the story is riddled with plot holes, and it's the same typical uh, Diablo 3 style. Uh, ca enemy characters are cackling at you while you run in and all that kind of crap, and it's just it's just horrible. Like that last cutscene, uh, like I actually saw the, there was like an alpha leaked version of the cutscene, and that one was, um, they changed it actually minorly. They changed the ending and actually the the part of which that Zelnaga, Zelnaga artifact exists, like that artifact that he's using to basically stun her or whatever. Um, so that before was actually implied that he implanted a device in her that is in her brain that was hurting her brain or something like that. That's what the original one had. And so that's why the line, do you think I would keep you around me without some sort of assurance? So they clearly changed that. They figured that the brain thing probably doesn't make sense because it's like, uh, I don't know, maybe when she's infested that shouldn't even matter anymore or something like that or she'd notice. Who, who knows what, what the hell they were thinking. Uh, but now the line doesn't make sense. I only know what it actually means because of the fact that I've, I I saw the original one and I know what they were referring to, but they didn't change the line. And so that, that was kind of stupid. And the second part is how she flies away at the very end. And like, apparently before... Uh, she goes, they're now free to do whatever they want. And then it ended off with like the Zerg kind of going off in the thing. And and that was the part that everyone hated because it was basically like, they're the swarm. They have no mind of their own. 
Uh, they're, they're not supposed to be free. <laughs> it's not how they work. You know, they turn them from something that's cool to, oh, a cute little Zerg. And so, and my, my theory on that was that they were setting it up for an MMO, like a WoW style, World of Warcraft style StarCraft MMO. And basically you could play as a Zerg because they're free now. But I guess that's what the Feral Zerg are now for. Uh, they, that they, I don't know what the hell they're for, to be honest. Um, and I didn't like the idea of that either. Uh, and they didn't improve on it at all by having her just fly away slightly. So it's kind of stupid too. Um, yeah, so you know what? They they should not have split this into three different three different uh, expansion packs because it's it's now clearly just a cash in. It's very clear. It's, this is forty dollars, and the way the way I justify something that's forty dollars is I basically say uh, if it's an expansion pack or DLC or whatever, I basically look at the original price of the, of the first game and I'm just like, okay, I'm paying for the engine, the campaign, the multiplayer, and all that kind of crap. And then the expansion or DLC or whatever I get on top of that should be pretty much equal to what I got before, or else it's just a cash in, like uh, equal to the amount of money I'm paying. So this is definitely not. You're getting like what, like five new units and like a, this is a crappy campaign. It's like half the campaign of Wings. And so they clearly, they clearly ran out. They didn't have an idea, so they they shouldn't have done this whole like three expansion thing in the, in the first place. And and the real and the really sad part is like the what the fuck are the protos up to? Like we've heard nothing about them. It's just Zeratul is just bored and just coming over once in a while. And constantly these these tell there's so many tell dream. Like it's it's what the hell? Why are there so many of them? And and like why there's so little like actual like friendly protos? Like we there's so many interesting main characters. This has just been about the Terrans and the Zerg and all th this entire freaking time. It's just why there's there's no point in this. I don't know. This is this is this is pretty dumb. Uh, they it's not structured out the the story or the plot or anything, and, and it's it's just another one of those uh, their plots from like Warcraft three where it's just like oh look it's fucking Zelnagar actually the Burning Legion kind of a thing. So it's just it's just atrocious. It really is. And uh, some people were asking me so like oh well yeah. So in conclusion, don't like it. I wouldn't recommend. Um, it's been getting high praise. I don't know why, and and one of my friends basically thought it was because um, it's it plays sort of like a MOBA, and people like MOBAs, and I hate MOBAs, so that's, that explains why I hate it. I want I, I, I you know I bought an RTS, I expected an RTS, I did not get an RTS. I got Dragon Ball Z MOBA, that's what I got, uh, and it was, e it was a pushover, it's easy as hell. Um, so I don't even know what the point of me doing a a brutal walkthrough of it was. Um, and someone asked me, someone was worried that. Uh, I mean, you could you could fucking tell like what what I thought of it. Uh, in the middle, it just got really bad. And I was just kind of like, I, I kind of didn't want to do it, but I was already halfway through it, and so I figured I'd at least finish it for the people who are watching for for you know they want to get the story out and stuff like that. Like, cause I don't know, I know I I I would be pissed too if like I was starting to watch a let's play and then in the middle the person let's playing decided to quit it, so I didn't want to quit it midway through. And, and actually I've decided, um, someone asked, they were worried because they didn't think I was going to do the Protoss one, and, uh, and, uh, actually I will do it. Um, I'll do, I'll do whatever StarCraft RTS games they, uh, they release. Uh, I probably won't like it, uh, but I'll still do them anyways. Um, just because you guys want it. Um, there's very little games that I'll do because you guys want it, but I don't play many RTSs, and I guess StarCraft should be that one. Uh, that I'll 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 still play. I don't buy any more Blizzard games though. Diablo three irked me so so badly with with the, with its end game and just crappy plot and crappy mechanics that I just I I'm done with I'm done with non Starcraft Blizzard games. And this one was shit too. You know what it is? This is this is an AAA title. That's what they are. They're an AAA developer now. Uh, you know it's it's uh it's developed for the lowest common denominator. That's why you saw the tutorial shit in there. That's that's what they're targeting. It's a campaign, though, and you know, I, you know, I, I will say, uh, when you say it's just the campaign, Mike, there's still the customs in the Malay. If you want like the more hardcore stuff, and you're probably right, um, I, I still don't play Malay. I'm not interested in Malay. Uh, I don't really play RTSs like in a, on a competitive like player versus player level. I, I just don't like that. I like customs, but that 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 train has sailed. Uh, sorry, that boat has sailed. It's not train. Um, that's gone. Like the the map editor already came out. The map editor is just no good. Um, the, their their whole model with the the customs and this is you know with the protections and all that, it's it's ruined already. So I'm not really interested in that either. Um, 
the customs have been of, of actually fairly low quality. Uh, like no no production value whatsoever on most of them, so I'm not interested. And you know they put a lot of hard work into it, but it's just like it's just you can't expect to do a whole lot with the editor because it just it kind of looks really odd the campaign. So oh well, I hate it. That's all. I, like if you go on like Metacritic, it's gotten it's gotten good reviews, and I don't agree with it. I I do not agree with this at all. I thought it was I thought it was awful. Um, you know, as I said, I guess the people who like Malay and stuff, uh, enjoy this kind of shit, but, like, because they're not really playing for the, because I played for the campaign, let's be honest. Um, but, you know, to those people, uh, you paid $40 for this, for, $40 for six units in a DLC, it should have been $10. 20 tops for this. There's no way they could justify that high of a price. Fucking pointless. <laughs> ah, well. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, there's no arcade or anything, nothing interesting for me to show you. That's, that's pretty much it. That's all they added to this. It's just the UI updates, and, you know, there's a bunch of achievements, like, um, these are the, these are the, apparently the hard ones. Those other ones were just pushovers, but if I actually go into here and show you, they have a whole bunch here. Uh, like, finish in less than 10 minutes. Uh, not more than 30 seconds, like, I don't know. It's just a bunch of time things or just, like... You know, you have to just be, go you just basically have to be going for it and then you'll get it. So this does not really interest me either. So I'm done with it. Oh, wait, wait, as Rena says, we're done.